everybody. Well, it's time for another day of Charlotte Wars adventure. Okay, so let's get back to this. Okay, so I haven't really played much as Space Engineers, so I'm going to do some of this with all of you guys. Uh, so what's the plan? Well, I need to mimic on that side, with, uh, that side on this side, but I got something to show all of you, and I'm really pissed about it. Um, obviously there was an update to Space Engineers. Uh, one of the updates was all the vehicles now shoot back, which is fine, that's not a big deal. Uh, it's, it's, okay, wait a second. Okay, something really weird is going on. Maybe the update fixed it, but what happened is these blocks were flipped the other way. It made me upset because the whole point of these blocks on this side is because of these little lights here. Um, I just thought it was neat to see. So that way the floor of the inside of the ship would be with these little lights. So hopefully it minimizes the amount of lights. Uh, oh, there's no gravity. That's right, turn gravity off to extend the life of the, the fuel. Um, it looks like they fixed everything. Turn off lights. Yeah, okay, so these lights are here now again, which is good. Whew! I was going to show you this and say, look, it's all broken and screwed up. But now it's actually quite okay. Okay. Uh, this ship here that I have, I went out mining with it. Um, and it's processing, I believe. Let's take a look inside. Uh, okay, I think now. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, it even has components in there. Wow. So let's see here. Yeah, so it's processing everything slowly here. Um, I think the ship on top is done dumping. Let's take a look at that. Oops. It's been a while since I played, so I gotta get used to the controls here. Uh, yeah, okay, I think this one's done. Excellent. So let's, let's park the grasshopper here. Uh, let's go into the control panel. I need to turn off the um, ejector. Where are you? Ejector, here we go. We go throw out off, collect all off. And it's off, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, yeah, okay, owner is me. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. So, uh, V. Now I should be able to reposition it. Okay. Okay, perfect. So everything looks like it's working as it's supposed to be. Good. Um, so, on my last trip that I went mining with, um, I've come to the conclusion that I need to create a better way of, of, uh, of mining. And so what does that mean? That means I need to build a new ship, basically. So let's check if there's anything in here. There's some fuel in here. Uh, let's turn this on again. Um, so 60 days. Yeah, I probably don't need that much in this, sh this spaceship, so I'll, I'll probably hop out of this. And let's extract the, the fuel. Um, I think I can reach the fuel from here. Uh, I just need five units on there, so it's... Ah. Uh, okay. Um... Or is it this way? No, okay, how about... I'm trying to remember, it's been a while. Maybe it's on the bottom, the access. I know I do have an access, I just can't remember. Oh well, it doesn't matter, we'll leave it like that. Okay, uh, then this ship is processing. Um, I think I can make this ship now eject. No, I won't make him eject, I'll, ma I'll make him eject once he's done. So the problem that we have is we don't have any refinery facilities on this space or on this. Uh, yeah, okay, this is all great too. On this ship either. Uh, dampener's on. Okay. So the plan is is to go out this way. And in this kind of area here, where the medical bays are, in this area here where it's all black, I want to put uh, refineries. I want to put one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Um, I'm hoping it'll kind of fill up the ship. Maybe I'll make stairs going up and then kind of more more centralized in the middle of the ship here, kind of in this area where I'm floating right now is where all that fun stuff would be. 
And then at the back of the ship, maybe some cargo and whatnot. And then above this ship, I want to create kind of like this loading bay area that can be closed so that way we can harvest vehicles. Um, and then I want to put thrusters on this ship everywhere so I can start moving it. I want to move it closer to the asteroid field and see what we can do. I want to harvest these sh ships as well, um, but I need to create a mining or like a grinding vessel. Um, we did have one with the modules, but I was running into the issue of the modules where I wasn't able to uh, lock them down. So I was having extreme difficulty there. So yeah, so anyways, so let's let's make a new spaceship. Um, need resources, let's see what this ship has. I think this one is empty, there's some fuel on there. Okay, uh, the reason I don't like to use this one all the time is because I'd have to switch out these heads. And then when I switch out those heads, um, they're not connected with each other properly. So if this thing wasn't here, I think I could connect them together. Uh, the whole back end is screwed up, so I need to make a whole new ship basically. Let's open this up. So let's see here. Hopefully we got enough materials. Uh, I think... Oh shit, that's right. What are we producing? Oh yeah, medical supplies. Let's stop those. Uh, let's move this stuff back into here. Okay, iron. Uh, this is gold, right? AG? Yeah, I think so. Or silver, that's silver, sorry. Okay, so I got plates. So let's give me some plates. Let's give me some of these construction components. Uh, and then if I need anything else, we'll do, we'll double check that. So let's go over here to build this. So what I need to build is a mining platform, but I need to build it big enough to where we can collect the debris and have a gravity generator or gravity well collecting the debris. So that being said, let's Let's see what we can do. Let's go G. And we're going to make it a large sh ship, I think. Let me think here. Uh, spherical. Yeah, see, it's only for large ship, the spherical. Where's the other generator? Oh, right here. Large ship. So, yeah, it's going to have to be a large ship because I need a gravity generator. And where are we going to position that ship? Um, good question, guys. Uh, let's see, page up, page down. Uh, how about insert, insert page up, page, uh, and, okay. And page up, okay, so... Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's see what happens if we put it there. Now uh, we need large steel tubes. Um, okay, let's. Okay, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this actually. Thinking, thinking out loud. <laughs> large steel tubes, large steel tubes. So let's grab some of those. Um, I might what I'll do is I'll outline it probably and then I'll I'll uh, I'll cut it and then I'll come back once I've I've I built it so let's let's put it up here let's put it relatively close okay so we'll do it right about here maybe in this area here we'll build it okay so let's go G new large sh ship I need to go page up and I need to go end. Okay. And let's go all the way around. Yeah, I know I could use insert, but on my keyboard it's kind of tricky. Okay. Um, we don't need to build that. So I'm going to start with the edge. And I'm going to use only these heavy armor blocks um, because I need it heavy, heavy, heavy. It's, it's going to be mining, so things are going to be dropping on it. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's try these these light armor blocks. Fuck it. 
Okay, so... These are going to be the outside edge of the ship. Okay, let's... Let's grind this off. Okay. So, how big do we make this sh this ship? Hey, eh? uh, let's start with putting these collectors. Uh, oh, what's this? F fighter cockpit? That's new. Wow, I didn't know they added that. Shit. Cool. I know they got wheels and they got different catwalks. They got reloadable rocket launcher for small ships. They got these sensors, which are freaking cool, which I'm going to use on the doors. They got these cameras, which I want to use. They got timer blocks and even remote control for controlling things remotely. Um, as long as, as there's an antenna attached to it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else is there? No, I don't think that's it. Or I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Nothing really new yet. So, with that being said, let's carry on. Uh, I'm just trying to find the collector. Uh, looks like a scoop. Uh, where are you? Right here, this one. Collector. Now, what this is going to do... Oh, I can do it for small ship. Nah, I need to make this a large ship. I need the gravity generator. That's the, the, the clincher. So... I had an idea uh, for this kind of ship that I'm creating. It's kind of like a mining platform. It's more uh, more platform than a ship. It's going to be slow, clunky, and big. And I'm not sure how much power it's going to need. So, uh, let's see. Page up. Okay. So, there's going to need to be thrusters going up and down. Um left right and down so so let's see here and i'm just trying to think of how the uh, this should sit right so really what we should do then is actually put this uh, let's see, delete sideways, delete, delete, where are you, delete, I need to put it like this, then I need to put another one, uh, page up, um, yeah, I need to put one up, let's see, let me think about this, up, and I need to put one down, and then forward, okay, so maybe this is how it has to be. Okay, and let's go um, home, I think. Down, okay, yeah, and then uh, forward. Okay, yeah, this is how, this is what I envisioned in my, kind of, in my sleep. So let's take a look here. I don't know how long this episode's going to be, so if it's long, forgive me. Oh, crap, did I just hit that? Okay, no, good. <laughs> okay, we got those. And then, yeah, maybe what will happen is the blocks will continue like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the ship would be eight, eight. Maybe let's make it nine blocks wide. Um, because I'll be mining directly above the platform. And the whole point of this platform is to be able to fit in tight areas or small areas. Um, so that means I have to delete one of these. I have to replicate what I have on that side, on this side. So this one has to go uh, up. So home okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue building this so once i built my frame i'll be right back so don't go too far okay hope you're still there okay so this is what i built um it's like 9 by 13 i think something like that i'm not sure how big i need it but i don't need it too big but i need it enough to catch everything that falls 
Um, I'm going to put this platform fairly close. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Um, I, uh, as I was building this, it got, or it got me thinking. I got thinking that I should put probably these slanted pieces in on the outside. Um, kind of like, th I'll show you, like this page up, I think. Yeah, kind of like this. And what that will do is that will cause them to bounce in because of the gravity. But, I won't need to really do that. So now the next step is to is to put in these guys, the collectors. Now, gravity pulls stuff down. I know that for sure. Now, I'm thinking of putting a spherical one on this. But, what happens if stuff goes past it and then you start to get sucked up I don't I don't really want that so let's kind of rotate these okay so they have a thing on the bottom okay so I basically need to put collectors all along here so I'm gonna go do that and then what I'll do is I'll connect them and then I'll be right back so yeah so so hang in there guys the gals <laughs> I almost forgot about you Okay, well, I loaded the necessary stuff onto this ship, and so off we go. Uh, I need to be yeah, careful with the liftoff. Okay, okay. Welders are on, I think. Yeah, okay, beautiful. Now, let's see how we can do this. Um, I need to weld all this stuff here. So let's get in line. Let's do this like this. It's a little bit easier like this. So, the. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's see how this works. Uh, okay. I'm almost close enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like it is. Looks like it is. Okay. Let's position up nicely here. So, basically, what I'll do is uh, I'm still continuing. It's a lot of work. I had to move a lot of materials to and from the ship. And so, I'm going to continue here. Um, this video is going to go until this thing's done, so, or until I run out of time to record this stuff, so, you know, buckle up, and, you know, I hope it's not too long, but I have no idea, because I just ad hoc everything, so, yeah, so have fun, everybody, and I'll be back as soon as I got more to report. So, I ran out of displays and motors, um, Let's see if I can snag some more from here. So let's go a couple hundred. Um, I think I need to make some displays. So hopefully I can make some um, assembling or we display. So I need to make a couple hundred of these. One, two, three, four. Let's make 400. Uh, and any more silicone? Oh, fuck sakes. Or silicone, silicone, silicone. So, do I have any silicone on my ship that's docked? Let's check it out. Uh, da, da, da. I, you know what? I could probably just do it this way. Uh, uh, actually, I need to put an an antenna on this ship here. Don't have one for this guy. Shoot. Oh well. Anyways, let's go back into this. Um, yeah, I'm going this way this time. Let's check this out. So silicone, silicone. It's doing uranium right now. So let's maybe push it to silicone. I need tons of this stuff. Um, I need about a thousand of this stuff, I think. As far as the uranium goes, 28. Let's, 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 let's liberate this stuff. Okay, and... Oh, there it is. This is where it's going right now, the uranium. Perfect. So I'll have to redistribute that once that's all done. Um, this whole refinery stuff, I don't know. This ship is going to be pretty much permanently docked into this spot here soon. It's starting to become really obsolete because of this big humongoid ship I'm trying to build. Um, and then, of course, there's uh, 
this platform that we're starting to build that I need materials for. Uh, let's see here what we can do. Because as you notice, s some of these aren't going to be done. Yeah, like these ones here aren't going to be finished until I can get uh, the right components. And what do I need to put in here? So let's put the plates on this side. Let's put uh, construction components. Yeah, I need more of these guys. Uh, let's put 70 on this side. So let's put more. So basically what I'm going to end up doing is I think I'm going to... Yeah. I think I'm going to be loading this ship up with components again. And I'll carry on. Um, and I'll come back hopefully <laughs> with more. Otherwise we might have to split this into two episodes. Okay. Whew. Wow, that took a while. <laughs> I had to transfer tons of resources. This is expensive. But hopefully it'll do the trick. Um, now it's going to be time to work on the undercarriage here. Uh, basically now I need to connect all of these together. <laughs> and you know how that's going to happen. I'm going to have to put conveyors. All right, And then a central point where they all collect into. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Well, I guess I'm going to need to do this in two episodes. It's taking me a while to get all this done to get the materials. So I'm going to do some of this off camera. And then I will... Well, actually, you know what? No, no, I won't do any of this off camera. I'll, I'll cut another video. So I'll show the progress on the second video. So, so thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate all of you for, for watching these videos. And and you definitely check out some of the other videos that I'm working on, uh, you know, the, like the Seven Days to Die, um, you know, the Minecraft ones that I'm doing again. And uh, as far as Terra Permacraft, I will continue doing those, but I'll probably do a new series of that. I'll just start it all over. Um, I did it more as an experiment to see if I could use it, and it looks like I can. Um, I just don't like how buggy it is, so. I might wait until the next update, the 79 update, uh, or I might just stick with what they got and uh, yeah, I play with it and do a whole new series for that. Because uh, I think that will will work just a little bit better. So, anyways, yeah, thank you everybody. You all have a great day, and I'll see you again in the next video.